can you give us a primer on where things currently stand in terms of international laws surrounding cyberspace? Absolutely. So first of all, let's talk about the process by which we might actually elaborate what these international law rules are. So the United Nations has two groups that are currently looking at, um, at responsible state behavior in, in cyberspace. So this is, uh, first of all, a UN group of governmental experts, and secondly, a UN open-ended working group, both of them looking at, at this issue. Um, secondly, let's talk a little bit about the substance. So the first thing, and I think this is really important, is that it has been recognized that international law applies in cyberspace. Why is this significant? It's significant because it means that we don't need necessarily new laws. What we need to do is to work out how the existing rules of international law that we have, how these rules apply to this type of activity. So that's point one. Point two um, is that international law as it exists prohibits certain types of conduct. So we know that, um, and states have recognized this, the United Nations Charter applies to the activities of states in cyberspace. What this means is that the prohibition of the use of force that exists in the UN Charter also applies online. And so there are certain cyber operations that might cross that threshold and might be regarded as unlawful uses of force against other states. Thirdly, we know that even if uh, a given cyber operation does not amount to a use of force, even if it doesn't cross that threshold, it might nonetheless be prohibited by a range of rules of international law. For example, it might be contrary to the, uh, it might be contrary to the prohibition of non-intervention. In other words, it might be an unlawful intervention in the affairs of another state. It might be a violation of the principle of sovereignty. In other words, it might be uh, an unlawful attempt to interfere with the inherently governmental activities of states. Thirdly, um, human rights law applies online in the same way that it applies offline. And so states are prohibited from engaging in operations in cyberspace which would violate the human rights of, of individuals. And the final thing that I would say is that even when it's not states conducting cyber operations, states have obligations of due diligence, obligations to take steps to prevent uh, operations which might cause serious adverse consequences to other states or to individuals, or which might interfere with the with the rights of, of other states. So that's just a summary of some of the rules that apply to, to these operations.